welcome back for another video. And from the see me by the camera, from the see me by the camera, nothing acts. Yeah, today I'm gonna do an authentic salt mackerel rundown. Right? When I say authentic, you know what that means, you know, guys. You have the certain things from old time days, something come right down. So that's what I'm gonna do today. So, I wanna welcome, welcome back, you all. Welcome back. So, I'm gonna show you everything I have here. So, yeah. First, I have my salt mackerel. I soak the salt mackerel already now from overnight. Right? So, I'm just gonna boil it out for about a five minutes or so. Yeah, I'm gonna scald it for about a five minutes because you don't know, I soak it from overnight and all the salt actually out of it. So, I'm gonna scald it out still. I have my coconut, guys. The dry coconut. I have a great height. So, you know, so it has a ton up. I have a seasoning. I have scallion, thyme, garlic, pimento seed, onion, and the tomato. I have a little black pepper. Yes. I have a flour dumpling. No, which flour dumpling? I have a flour dumpling. I have a cornmeal dumpling. I have a flour with some cornmeal in it. I'm not going to use any salt. I have a piece of yellow yam. I don't know, green banana. But you can use anything of your choice. Alright, so. First, I'm gonna scald the mackerel and then start look about the coconut. Yes. Now I'm gonna put the salt mackerel to boil out for five minutes. I'm not gonna let them boil too long, right? Because the salt has already come out. So cold, already soak out the salt. So just wanna scald them out for a couple of minutes. Yeah. Coconut time now. We're going to look more the coconut. Let's cut them up in some pieces. Not too fine. Let's put in the blender. Not too small. Remember, <laughs> boy, I come a far away still, you know. I remember when my mother used to all of them something here, guys. My mother used to make mackerel run down. Greater, she greater. All me, a greater, she give me the coconut for greater. I'm not for greater the coconut. Make the mackerel run down. So I'm just saying, we're coming from, we're coming as far away. You know, we have blender and then things. And nobody not catch me using greater now, you know, guys. Because the amount I cut my finger, cut up and greater, you know, man. It wasn't easy. Remember me tell you. I'm going to tell my mother that I'm not great at the coconut, I'm not great at it. After my kids them grow up, come to the blender. Yeah. That is that. Alright, so. Just blend up my little phone. This is to make the custard the run down. I want it nice and creamy, you know, with the custard and so. I'm going to have the liquor number juice juice it another time. So I'm going to say, you know, you can use this and make some porridge. You understand? You can use that make some porridge, yeah. Porridge in the house. Yeah, so guys, what I'm gonna be doing, prepare my season for my salt mackerel run down. Cut up my seasoning, put on my coconut milk to boil. You know, the milk has to boil, you can't just throw it by your mackerel like that. So, I'm gonna boil the milk for about 10 minutes, right? So, I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna do this step by step. Alright, so. Cutting up some skeleton. You know the flavor with the skeleton, you know, guys. I like something here, salt mackerel, salt fish. You know, I can salt fish the skeleton and bring up flavor in the right and proper way. Skeleton and garlic? Yes, man. Only and do it, you know. Only and do it, you know, but not like the skeleton. Trust me. You know? Thank you. 
them too small enough. Not cutting them too small enough. The onion, the garlic, and the scallion. You know, we are marinate those first. We are marinate this and this with the pimento see, but you don't know. I put my tomato, I don't want my tomato to cook out too much, so you know, put it in that last. Right? And the salt and pepper are spicy. Yeah. And then I put it in my pimento seed. So I have carry now, I'm sure. I'm gonna taste this of the mackerel, see if uh, I just wanna know if I have to wash it out, how long I have to wash it out and stuff. You understand? Because I done soak it out already and I boil it out a little so you don't know it's still, you don't want it too salty. And you don't you still don't want it too fresh. You understand? Hmm. Mmm. When I pick out the boil, I'm just barely wash it out a little more, you know? I'm good. Yeah. Now get out the roast chicken. Try and get out as much bone as possible. I'm gonna feel that you speak to you. You see here, so I'm gonna throw them part here now, guys. You see the head? Mm -hmm. I don't show my mackerel head. Alright. All them part here. I used to cook them too, you know. I used to put all this, cook it. Yeah. So let me just pick up this guys, you know, and um, come back and start cook it up. Coconut milk is on its way, you know, so let's pick up this and come back. So guys, so we we'll make the coconut milk and we run down. Mm -hmm. So let me turn out the stove now. Rich and nice. Right? Turn it on. So, I'm seasoning over here, so. Here we go. My garlic. We have a little coconut oil. It's a little small amount, not plenty. Right? So. So, you know, let's go to this. So, we don't want to season burn up. Okay, then. I can use some vinegar to here guys. Who we'll use vinegar? Let them make it run down. Oh, it smells so so sweet. So. So much oil because you don't know the coconut have even enough oil, so I'm not going to use too much oil to start in the video. I'm not going to use too much oil to start in the video. This is good. Look at this. I'm going to have two pieces of two macro legs in the video. So, you don't know. <laughs> I'm not going to have to be from the water. Yeah. I can marinate the seasoning and I can mash it with the flavor, guys. I can mash it with all the flavor from the vegetables. You know? All the chilean. And then the piece of black pepper. As you say already, I don't want a lot of oil. Okay. So the next thing what I'm gonna be doing now, saute the mackerel with the vegetable, you know, to get the flavor before we put the milk. So 
look at this now. Look at this lovely coconut milk. Sometimes I cook it in a lot, I cook it in a lot of juice, a lot of milk. So this time now, I cook it with plenty. Juice! I put some more. Right? Some other country, I don't know which country, some other country cook the food in the medicinal. They call it Isle Down. I don't remember which country. Some other Caribbean country. They don't cook the, they don't cook the mackerel separate. The run down, you know, they put it. Everybody together. Everybody do them thing different and it's still nice same way, you understand? So that is that. So yeah. That's how I make it stay now and just come together. The coconut milk, all of the seasoning, all of the everything just come together nicely. Alright? Okay, so the next step now, you know, I've got to start to do my food. The flour, my banana and the yam. What is run down, mackerel run down without yam and banana? Dumpling, army lumping is a must. Army dumpling is a must. Alright, so we have to put a little at a time. Banana here, you know, you when them buy, they never use the same time, you know. The banana, after a while, you know, after a while, they have the green banana, the skin, them not green and pretty again, you know, but they're still fresh and nice inside. Look, look at this. You see, white and pretty. That's why I have a dumpling here. I'm going to soft, man, so I'm going to soft banana in here. You know, <laughs> oh boy, all right. So, now can I use all of them side, right? Mm -hmm. So, now I'm with us, yeah. See them, see, see them white and pretty. The white and the banana, you know, so them soft, real soft. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, so I'm gonna just peel them in a piece of yam to make a peel. Right? And the yam. And I'm the sweet potato, I'm gonna have a piece of sweet potato. Sweet potato, that is nice. What I don't have any. Nice. Every time I stay there, I'm going to see them ready to I'm going to put in my dumplings. Dumpling here. Now the pot burn me. Tell me you like with the rundown, which one of the provision, which one of the food stuff you like. If you like all piece of boiled breadfruit, remember back in them old time days there. Mm -hmm. My mother used to cook all the breadfruit with the rundown. I never used to keep them something. My children never know rundown, you know, I never cook it for them. I one time never do it. One day, get a time. Yeah. 
but it's nice as something authentic, you know, original, long time be something. Mm -hmm. Food going on there, so guys, a dumpling and a banana. So, right here, so now I am going to turn out the stove. All right, look at that little stair, steel. You know, I'm running down, so I'm going to turn out this. All right, pick up the time here. The time here, finish the, the thing. So, let's take all this, turn it up. Right. For the right consistency. I'm waiting on our dumpling and banana so we we'll finish, right? Alright. Pattern ready. So you know the reason I want most of the water drain. Cause the run down, I don't want the run down. No water. You understand? No water um drain after the you know, the run down. So I said, I'm going to drain out most of the water here, right? Share a salt thing now, guys. <laughs> yes, sir. Uh... One head. Where my mackerel head there? It's alright. Look up. After that, I look up. Look for my mackerel head. It's a piece of bone there. Only for juice, a lot of juices. All right. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes, guys, it was a nice video. It was nice sharing with you all. Hope you all enjoyed this video too. And thanks again for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Give me a thumbs up. And thanks again, guys. See you all on the next one. And bye. Oh, yes, guys, we have to taste the food and show them. It's food sweet, you see? Man. I said, and then with the coconut milk, nice. The taste of coconut milk, it's rich and nice. You know, the mackerel, the rondon, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm. 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 Mm -hmm.